Hello everyone and welcome to Patch Shop Channel where we will patch a coffee can today. A coffee can that has served over 15 years in our family and has now finally become broken because the pump doesn't function anymore. I had already opened it here, the bellow of the pump is upside down in the can and in this big hole was a spiral spring and this spiral spring had broken and that was the reason for the malfunctioning. You see this can is quite dirty it has served over 15 years so this is also a good time to clean it also in this inner parts you see this is the original spring i turn it out of this bellow just by simple rotational movement and i found out that there were two parts the small parts and the larger part that were originally together but now broken apart So in this video I will show you how I made a new spring and insert it back again into the bellow to have a perfectly functioning coffee can again. So what I first did is I made a mold which replicated the steps in between the spring wire and the way it diminished from the big diameter to the large diameter. You see that I used a cone in this standard uh, Microsoft 3D building software and I put on the intermediate distance between the wires. I have this big rectangle over here which shows how high this step should be and the smaller one on the right shows the intermediate distance that the wire needs. I am using a wire of one millimeter and the intermediate distance chosen is one and a half just to allow for some play here. So I'm just shoving in this intermediate blocks into this cone. I'm then checking the height and then just controlling the intermediate distance. I'm going on like that uh, to form the complete mold, just like you see here. Assemble everything together and we have a perfect CAD design to put it in a slicing software. You see the slicing software over here, everything is a bit uh, exaggerated from the timing. I'm using a moderate uh, fill in rate for my 3D printer and I'm also using supports because these steps do not touch the platform or the bat onto which they are printed so they need some support and the software is calculating that for me. So you see the slicing has been done, we're all set and ready to heat up the 3D printer to the temperature of 200 degrees at the nozzle to be able to melt and extrude the PLA plastic. PLA is polylactic acid, it's a biodegradable plastic and the bat is also preheated to 60 degrees. So after that is done we're all ready to zero the extruder which is the black cube over here at the left front side of the machine and we will first um, begin with printing a line to test the extruder. The plastic is a white one I've chosen today. So upon returning we will see a line of PLA emerging on the bed. There we go, and we move to the middle to form the outline of the cone. And to start printing the entirety of the cone. I have uh, moved the speed up here again because otherwise you would be looking about six hours to the same movie of a 3D printer building this mold for my cylindrical no spiral spring construction so there we go almost finished you see it building up with the steps as designed and there we are all nice but we still have the supports inside of the steps so these need still to be removed but that's fairly easy as I will show you it can be done just with a kitchen knife and it will be all nice and clean to be wired up. 
So here I am with my kitchen knife. Uh, watch out for your fingers. Uh, if you are, don't feel so secure, please wear gloves if you repeat this exercise at home. So there we go. We can just cut it down in between the steps. Let's speed it a, bit, a little bit up. Because you've not come to watch me cut away every part of the support. There we go. finished all nice and clean now time to try I say try and wind the wire around so this is the original wire it had a one millimeter diameter wire so I bought from Amazon these spring wires which are one millimeter they are especially suited to make springs for DIYers. wires so it was an easy choice pretty easy to find not that expensive but it's quite difficult to wind it around the cone i must say i did some tries finally I, su I succeeded to get it around but i found out that the spring wire springs back and almost completely leaves the cone again so it took quite some tries to finally had it a bit plastically deformed to have it a bit around the cone and then I decided to put it in a wrench, in a bench wrench, for one week and to see whether that would be better. Whether it would hold its form better around the cone. Well, I can tell you it did, uh, but not completely as I would have wanted to do. But you'll see that later. So we're a little bit speeding up again. Uh, just to give you an impression how difficult it is to wind it around it's springing off all the time you really need some force you will be hurting your hands and you will be cursing but after all it's worth it so I repeat if you manage to get it around the cone just put it in a wrench for some time to let it relax some time um, I think it would be a good idea for those that are able to print a mold in steel or any other temperature resistant material that you heat the wire you see here that especially the biggest winding sprung off the cone after being in the wrench and now of course the difficulty is to get the spiral of the mold and I did that by in fact destroying the mold you see that the spring is springy so that looks okay it's just a little bit out of shape it's a lot bigger than the original one you see that I damaged the top part of the mold to get it off I did that with my drill here otherwise I could not manage to get it off without damaging the spring again so it's now ready to be trimmed here it is, the new spring on the left, the old spring on the right, at least the bottom part. And you see it's still okay, it should be insertable in the bellow. So I'll give it a try. Here it is again, the spring, the bellow, which has a bit water inside because I cleaned it, I will draw off some more water lately to prevent the steel wire from corroding i have troubles here of inserting because the end of the wire is always hitting the external side of the bellow so i'm bending it a little bit inside to get a kind of a guiding edge that doesn't disturb the introduction and that goes quite well introduced by rotating it in
there we go it's all introduced of course uh, the smallest part is still sticking out that's the purpose and it's all nice and springy that's quite pleasing appears to work pretty well So all we have to do now is introduce it again in the coffee can. It goes on top of course. The large opening should be upside. There is a central part of the cap and an outer part of the cap. The central part of the cap clicks on the bellow. The outer part of the cap clicks inside the remainder of the coffee can is best to introduce the outer part first not like i'm doing now i'm first trying to insert the smaller central cap it does click well over the bellow that's quite pleasing everything working pretty well yeah, I have still the water inside which should be out of course that's already a nice result and all nice and springy I guess it could serve for another 15 years you hear the air moving in and out so here I'm showing you this little pin, it should best inside the small windings of your wire to align the spring better inside and then it's even better working. So now we put it in, make sure to align the output of the bellow well with a hole inside of the can. I didn't do that at first so it didn't work perfectly in my first try but then I opened it again and put it just where it had to be like I said first uh, assemble the outer part of the cap the outer part has sna snapping hooks which snap into the remainder of the can and then you can click on the central part So make sure with the outer part that the snapping hooks are well positioned in these openings. If not, give it a turn like that and it will snap in. You see it's not perfectly working here because of the misalignment of the output of the bellow and an inner part of the can. We found that out a little bit later. And when that was all corrected, it worked as new. See here I tested it with water and that's just a brand new coffee can. Thanks for joining me.